Oh my goodness, that is a chilling moment, Piers Morgan. Well, it's not often you meet serial killers. Uh, they very rarely give any interviews, and it was a pretty chilling encounter. So it's airing tomorrow night, but I've just done a second one in Missouri, and they are, I mean, they are creepy people. I have to say, it's one thing interviewing a serial killer, it's another picking a fight yeah. with a serial killer. Yeah. You were confronting him and saying, I don't believe you. Well, the thing about it is, of course, they have nothing to lose, these guys. They're, in, they're not coming exactly. out of prison. They're multiple killers. There's one armed guard, but he's like 25 yards away. And you do slightly think, well, if you just, you know, fancied yes. it, yeah. adding you to the notch list, there's not much you can do about it. But it was a riveting encounter. Yeah. Uh, the interesting thing about him, I'm going to talk to the detective who finally nailed him. He spent 25 years trying to prize the truth out of him. That guy confessed to killing 13 women, all between 15 and 35, all about 110 pounds or less. Mm. So the detective said, if you're a bloke like me, or even Alex, um, he wouldn't be interested in hurting you. No. If you're a, a young, vulnerable, quite small, slightly slender, built, vulnerable yeah. woman, the most dangerous person you could ever meet. Yeah. Uh, but he made all these confessions, then he withdrew them all. Yeah. He even confessed to his mother, to yeah. his sister, he even rang one of the victim's fathers and said on the phone, I killed your daughter. Yeah. Then he retracted them. Yeah. And now the game has been over the years with the police to try and nail him. And the way they got him in the end was he revealed stuff in the confessions that only the real killer could possibly have known. So it's a very intriguing kind of journey you go on with this programme. Uh, I've got to say, you come out of those, those <coughs> prisons, I mean, you've done a, a bit of this now as well, mm. investigating these crimes. You come out of the prison from meeting someone like that and you... It's, They're soulless places, aren't they? It takes, they? It takes no quite a while to just calm yeah. down because it's so the, <laughs> the crime is so heinous, the number of victims is so wide, and the number of people attached to those victims. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, when you kill... Maybe he killed 13 people, they're not sure. If he did, you, you can multiply each one by 100 of mm. people affected by that death. Mm. Thousands get drawn anyway. It's a very interesting uh, show. It's tomorrow night. We'll t talk to the detective. Mr Haley, very interesting guy, now retired, devoted 25 years to this bloke and says, I will never give up trying.